Hi, it's Katrina. From giant viruses from the past returning to extinct creatures found for the first time, here are 10 amazing frozen discoveries. Number 10. Blue Babe During the summer of 1979, a family of gold miners was using a hydraulic hose to melt frozen ground near Fairbanks, Alaska. In the melted mud, they uncovered the remains of what turned out to be the mummified carcass of a steppe bison. They immediately notified the University of Alaska, and a team of scientists led by paleontologist Dale Guthrie rushed to remove the prehistoric animal before it began to decompose. The male specimen, called Blue Babe, is remarkably preserved, especially considering his age. Scientific testing of the animal's skin indicates that the carcass is 36,000 years old. It's thought that he died during the winter because his body froze fast enough for it to remain intact, even though it was partially scavenged for a bit by a variety of other prehistoric carnivores. The wounds on Blue Babe's body indicate that he was mauled to death by an American lion an extinct Ice Age species and ancestor of the modern African lion. When the bison was exposed to the air during excavations, it turned a brilliant blue color, hence the name of Blue Babe, after Paul Bunyan's giant blue ox. This bison was so well preserved that coagulated blood was discovered in the skin where it was punctured by the lion's teeth and claws. Today, the creature is one of the few Ice Age creatures you can see on display in the Gallery of Alaska at the University of Alaska Museum of the North. During the last Ice Age, steppe bisons roamed a large portion of the Earth, ranging from modern-day Spain to Canada and from the Arctic Islands to China. These ancient predecessors of today's bison went extinct around 8,000 years ago. Number 9. Spartak and Boris In 2018, a resident of the Yakutia region named Pavel Efimov discovered the well-preserved remains of a cave lion cub in melting permafrost along a river. Scientists determined that the baby big cat died around 43,500 years ago at just one month old, before it was old enough to open its eyes. Nicknamed Spartak, the cub's carcass, including its fur and soft tissue, remained intact. Its coat was spotted, revealing that the spots on ancient cave drawings of the animal are accurate, rather than simply an artistic touch, as scientists previously theorized. The year before, just 50 feet from where Spartak was discovered, another cub thought to be the same age, nicknamed Boris, was found. Unlike Spartak, Boris lacks spots, reflecting the genetic variability that existed among cave lions. Researchers believe that Spartak and Boris may have been siblings, the pair are the most perfectly preserved cave lion cubs found to date. Expert Dr. Albert Protopopov mentioned that the discovery raises hopes of someday cloning the species and bringing it back to life. Eurasian cave lions were among the largest big cats that ever lived. They had a widespread presence, including throughout Europe and northern Eurasia, over the Bering Land Bridge and into Alaska and Canada. The species went extinct around 12,000 years ago for reasons that aren't entirely clear. Experts believe global warming, reduced prey, and human activity may have contributed to the creature's demise. Number 8. Giant Wolfhead Pavel Efimov, the same local resident who found a nearly 50,000-year-old cave lion named Spartak, discovered a prehistoric severed wolf's head in northern Yakutia's Abyiski district the same year. The adult wolf was likely between two and four years old when it died around 32,000 years ago, according to scientists who were tasked with examining the animal. Its fur and teeth are still intact, and even more impressively, it's the first fully grown ancient wolf ever discovered with its soft tissue still intact, as well as its brain. The wolf's head measures 15.7 inches long, roughly half the length of a modern wolf's entire body. It hails from an extinct lineage that is distinct from modern wolves and is the first adult Pleistocene-era carcass of a steppe wolf ever discovered. How the animal's head was severed and none of its other remains were found is unknown, although evolutionary geneticists Love Dalen and other experts have said that there is no evidence to indicate that humans were responsible. Following the discovery, scientists announced plans to try extracting the creature's DNA in hopes of sequencing its genome and learning more about how modern wolves evolved. Number 7. 
Horned Lark While exploring the Siberian wilderness with two mammoth tusk hunters in September 2018, evolutionary geneticist Love Dalin had the privilege of witnessing firsthand their discovery of a perfectly preserved Ice Age bird in the permafrost. The small feathered flyer looked, in Dalin's words, like it had died just a few days ago. The bird is in pristine condition, the professor from the Center for Paleogenetics in Sweden told Life Science, adding that it's the only near-intact Ice Age bird carcass ever found. Scientific testing and mitochondrial DNA analysis of a tissue sample and some feathers reveal that the bird was a female horned lark, who lived at the same time as Ice Age mammoths, horses, bison, woolly rhinos, and other beasts. She existed around 46,000 years ago, when the mammoth steppe landscape was a combination of unforested grassland, or steppe, and bare frozen ground, or tundra. There are two modern horned lark subspecies, one in the far northern Eurasian tundra and another in the Mongolian steppe and in neighboring countries. The one found in the ice is their ancestor. The two evolutionary lineages of horned lark that exist today diverged as the climate changed. As Dalen said, the study, which was published earlier this year in the journal Communications Biology, demonstrates the impact that the phenomenon had on the formation of different subspecies. Number 6. Lena Horse In 2018, a team of paleontologists found a mummified horse foal in the 328-foot-deep Bataiga crater during an expedition in eastern Siberia. Its skin, hooves, and tail were still intact, thanks to the frozen conditions preserving the young creature's remains. Experts determined that the foal died around 42,000 years ago, at just one to two weeks old, when it drowned in mud or fell into some kind of natural trap. It stood 39 inches tall at the shoulder. The young horse is a Lenskaya, or a Lena horse, an extinct species that is genetically different from the region's modern horses. In a first-of-its-kind discovery among prehistoric Siberian horses, researchers found liquid blood and urine inside the foal. The finding was shocking, even considering the horse's shockingly preserved state. Scientist Semyon Grigoriev explained that over the course of thousands of years, blood typically coagulates or turns into powder. Scientists only extracted liquid blood from an ancient carcass one other time, from 32,200-year-old mammoth remains in 2018 making the Lena horse's blood the oldest liquid blood ever found. Like with numerous other ancient animals that have provided experts with DNA samples, Grigoriev and his colleagues hope to possibly clone the horse someday. Number 5. Resurrected Worms A shocking 2018 study revealed that scientists had successfully revived two worm species that spent tens of thousands of years in a state of suspended animation of sorts, frozen in the Siberian permafrost. The team's findings, which were published in the journal Doclady Biological Sciences, details how the microscopic nematodes constitute the first known example of multicellular organisms returning to life after spending such a long time in a Siberian deep freeze. Nematodes are resilient creatures, despite measuring just one millimeter long on average. Some are found living as far as 0.8 miles below ground, deeper than any other multicellular organisms are found. They are extremely adept at evolving to survive in varied environments, but the ability to come back to life over 30,000 years was a serious game-changer that supersedes all their other impressive qualities. For the study, scientists examined two samples containing well-preserved nematodes from two different parts of Siberia. They separated and defrosted the females, and soon after the researchers noticed the worms moving and eating. The next mission for experts is to better understand the mechanisms that enabled the nematodes to return to life after being frozen for so long. Number 4. Return of a Virus As we all grapple with the realities of the coronavirus pandemic, it probably seems absolutely insane that anyone would want to revive a long-dead virus. But that's exactly what happened in 2014, when a team led by evolutionary biologist Jean-Michel Clavery revived two viruses that were found frozen 100 feet underground in the Siberian permafrost. Known as Pithovirus sibericum and Molivirus sibericum, the pathogens are called giant viruses because it is possible to see them under a standard microscope. Even more alarming than the term giant virus is the fact that they became infectious very quickly after being brought back to life. Thankfully, the viruses only infect single-celled organisms, but the study brought a very realistic fear to the forefront. 
the possibility that we are not necessarily safe from ancient bacteria and viruses, and that highly harmful pathogens could be lurking in the melting permafrost, waiting to spring back into existence and infect its next victim. This prospect is becoming increasingly concerning as the Arctic sea ice melts, making Siberia's shore more accessible to drilling and mining industries. One alarming possibility, according to Clavery, is that the first viruses to infect humans in the Arctic could re-emerge, as well as viruses that infected hominins, such as Neanderthals and Denisovans. The possibility that we could catch a virus from a long-extinct Neanderthal suggests that the idea that a virus could be eradicated from the planet is wrong and gives us a false sense of security, Clavery told the BBC. This is especially sobering news, considering humankind already has enough on its hands with modern viruses. Number 3. Layuba In 2007, a reindeer herder in northwestern Siberia's Yamal Peninsula named Yuri Kudi discovered the corpse of an animal he'd heard of but never seen firsthand. That's because the astonishingly well-preserved carcass belonged to a baby mammoth who choked to death on mud around 40,000 years ago after falling into the water. She was one month old at the time. Scientists named her Layuba after her discoverer's wife. The mud that suffocated Layuba resembled a really thick batter that they got clogged in their trachea and they were unable to dislodge by coughing, according to Daniel Fisher, co-author of a study on this and another baby mammoth found in the permafrost. Layuba was preserved in a lactic acid-producing bacteria, which more or less pickled her corpse and made her unappealing to scavengers. She's one of the most intact Ice Age mammoths scientists have ever gotten their hands on, with even her eyelashes remaining after tens of thousands of years. Her death was truly a tragedy as Layuba appears to have been extremely healthy when she misstepped and perished. If for nothing else, her remains are proving extremely valuable in teaching scientists about Ice Age baby mammoths and what their lives were like. Number 2. Dogor during the summer of 2018, mammoth tusk hunters exploring northeast of Yakutsk, Siberia, discovered the surprisingly well-preserved remains of a prehistoric puppy in a lump of frozen mud. Scientists nicknamed it Dogor. Parts of the animal's body, including its head, nose, whiskers, eyelashes, and mouth were shockingly intact. The dog seemed like a very recently dead animal, according to one of the researchers. Scientists estimate that Dogor died 18,000 years ago at just two months old, but they don't know why. They were even more perplexed by DNA testing results, which revealed that Dogor was a male, but neither a wolf nor a dog. It's normally relatively easy to tell the difference between the two, researcher David Stanton from the Center for Paleogenetics told CNN. We have a lot of data from it already, and with that amount of data, you'd expect to tell if it was one or the other. The fact that we can't might suggest that it's from a population that was ancestral to both, to dogs and wolves. Even more curiously, Dogor lived and died at a time when some wolf species were dying out and while early dogs were emerging. As you go back in time, as you get closer to the point that dogs and wolves converge, it becomes harder to tell between the two, Stanton explained. Whether Dogor will help scientists bridge the connection between dogs and wolves or explain the origins of modern dogs remains unsolved. Number 1. Cave Bear Earlier this year, scientists from the Northeastern Federal University in Yakutsk announced the discovery of a remarkably well-preserved Ice Age cave bear on Siberia's Bolshoi Lyakovsky Island. Quick-thinking reindeer herders happened upon the creature and contacted the university, realizing that time was of the essence when it came to preserving the bear's remains. The creature, who lived alongside Ice Age beasts such as woolly mammoths, mastodons, and saber-toothed cats, is the most intact example yet of a cave bear, with its soft tissues, organs, and fur preserved by the permafrost. It likely lived and died between 22,000 and 39,500 years ago. In a statement revealing the discovery, paleontologist Lina Grigorieva called the discovery the first and only of its kind. It is completely preserved with all internal organs in place, including even its nose. The common ancestor between the cave bear and modern bears last existed between 1.2 and 1.4 million years ago, according to a 2001 study published in the journal Current Biology. Cave bears were larger than most modern polar bears, reaching up to 1,540 pounds. Around the same time as the adult cave bear's discovery, scientists announced the discovery of a cave bear cub on the Yakutian mainland, 
who died around 15,000 years ago. It's the first ever discovery of its type, bringing modern humans closer than ever to the extinct species. Thanks for watching! Which animal discovery was your favorite? The viruses were a little creepy. Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time! Bye!